But well, people are gonna want to see you. They'll see me in two seconds. You're gonna see Jillian in two seconds. Welcome to this video. Today we're doing something that everybody tells you not to do, which is talk about money and your own money on the internet. Uh, so we hope you enjoy this video. Welcome aboard Blue Moon. I'm Jillian and this is Jonas. We live aboard our 1978 Catalina 30 sailboat. Join us while we explore the west coast by land and sea, while living in our tiny floating home. If you enjoy these videos, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Thanks for watching! Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hey everyone, welcome to our first ever episode of Coffee on Blue Moon. This is going to be the first episode of a new series we're gonna try out. And we want the series to be a space for videos that are mostly just Jill and I chatting. Jonas and Jill just chatting away. Talking all and then if day. you're not interested in that, you don't have to click on the video. We'll make our vlogging a little more um, discreet. So we'll have vlog type videos where we're out and about doing things. And then if we're just gonna be chatting, we'll, we'll put it in a... Uh, <laughs> Separate column. Yeah, yeah. Put it in a Coffee on Blue Moon video. Or in this case, Tea. tea on Blue Moon. In our first episode, we're excited to announce that we've started a Patreon page. If you haven't heard of it before, Patreon is a site where audience members and viewers can pay either a monthly fee or sometimes a per video fee to directly support a content creator or artist that they enjoy. We did kind of go back and forth on this a little bit. We weren't sure how we felt about it or if we wanted to even start one or if Patreon was the platform we wanted to use. Long story short, we did decide to create a Patreon page. We had quite a few people coming to us who were curious about it and so that's sort of what led us to decide that it was maybe the right thing for our channel right now. One of the reasons we went back and forth on, on opening a Patreon page is that it, it feels in some ways to us like we're asking for money and that was sort of a big hump to get over and we weren't sure if that's something that we wanted to do. <laughs> so when we started this channel we weren't sure if anyone would watch the videos, we weren't sure if we would have uh, a sizable audience or not. Certainly we hoped that we could gain a bit of an audience and we're very very happy so far that people seem to be enjoying our videos. That's been an amazing experience for us. At this point, we've decided that Patreon is the right choice for us. Well, yeah, we There's want to no be obligation. very clear that there is there is no obligation to support us on Patreon at all. We'll always release all of our videos onto YouTube. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll, we won't put our content behind a paywall, so to speak. So yeah. we want to make sure that if you're not interested in Patreon or you can't afford it or for any reason, we don't want to hide our videos. And so that's sort of how we've gotten over the hump that it feels like we're asking for money because we don't want there to be any obligation or f for people to feel like they have to support us. We don't yeah. appreciate uh, viewers any less, yeah. but uh, so many people reached out to us and said, hey, we think this might be a good fit for your guys' channel and we recommend that you do this. We decided to do the research and we're quite happy that we've now published a page. So we'll start talking about the reasons why we decided to do it. Two things that I really believe in are A, I don't want to put anything behind a paywall, which is the reason why we won't ever put our videos as sort of Patreon exclusive. Like we will continue to post videos on YouTube for those who want to support us through YouTube. Because also just by viewing our videos, you know, hitting the like button, that kind of stuff, that is directly supporting us and we appreciate that as well. But the other thing that Jonas and I really wanted to be able to do is actually provide ad-free videos because when Google plays ads on our videos, we hardly have any control over what they play. So for example, Google plays ads on our videos and that's one way that we've monetized our channel. We get a portion of the revenue that YouTube makes. By selling 
our content to advertisers, basically. Google uses our videos as a platform to advertise products, and we have some control over what ads play. Um, Google allows you to identify if certain industries you're not interested in uh, supporting, but beyond that, it's basically out of our hands and the revenue uh, percentage is divided 45% to Google and 55% to the creator, which means that Google Alphabet Corporation is taking an enormous chunk of the revenue that our videos may or may not earn. We're really excited to be able to provide ad-free videos to those who join our page, which is something we've wanted to do since starting YouTube, before we even monetized. Yeah, yeah so Jill and I, and probably many of you, aren't a huge fan of um, the state of advertising on the internet and we have figured out a way to upload our videos twice basically so that um, members of the Patreon page can watch the videos all the way through without ads. It allows viewers to support us directly so there's no middleman. With Patreon we pay a small fee associated with Patreon acting as the middleman but otherwise it's a direct contribution to us. And that way we know exactly who's supporting us. And you know that most of your contribution, 95% of it is coming to us as opposed to being doled up between another business or a corporation any, or anything like that. And we really like the idea of direct contribution because it allows us to focus on making the content we like. We've heard from creators and you, you'll see on the internet that the Google algorithm, you, the YouTube algorithm, is fickle. It likes certain types of videos and it doesn't like other types of videos. But if we, for example, um, had a strong support base on Patreon, we could virtually make any type of video we want, whether we expect G Google to like it or not. Mm -hmm. And we can just focus on yeah, making the videos that our audience likes because we wouldn't have to rely on advertisers enjoying our content to bring in revenue. So that's, that's sort of way down the line. So the big reasons why we decided to start a Patreon page are to offer ad-free videos. And the second one is to cut out the middleman and set up a system for direct contribution so that um, we know exactly where everything is coming from. Mm. And Patreon also gives us a really easy way to communicate with people. The messaging system is really good. We're hoping to build it into a little community. Yeah, I guess that's the third big reason is that it allows us to have a bit more of a community than YouTube mm -hmm. will allow. Or yeah. yeah, yeah. So comments, for example, YouTube filters out which comments come to the top, which ones you see first, and Patreon solves all of those problems too, right? Like people can message us directly, um, they can comment to us directly, and we know we're gonna see it. So in terms of how our Patreon page is going to function, we've set out five tiers, which is pretty standard with Patreon. We decided to go with a monthly donation rather than a per video donation. And that's so we can post as many videos as we like, whatever length we like, without people having to worry about us charging them every single time. We think that's a better way of doing it. It takes a lot of pressure off of us. If people are paying per video, we don't want to you know, post 10 videos in a week. That would be impossible. With a monthly fee, it's very consistent. Patrons are charged on the first of the month the amount that they choose of the five tiers. And so if Jill and I want to release six videos in a month, it's the same. If we want to release eight, it's the same. And if we're busy and can only release four, Patreons pay the same each time. Our commitment um, to this channel is that we really want to try and release at least one video a week and hopefully more. Uh, once we get a little more settled into the summertime, we'd really like to start doing two videos a week. Viewers can expect we'll always put out at least one video a week. And if we can't pull that off, we'll let you know why. Something is probably going on or whatever. <laughs> um, or maybe we'll just put out a short video. And so as a little thank you, different tiers have different benefits, as you will, for patrons. So for example, our first tier is five US dollars a month, and that gives you access to chat as well as ad-free videos. And as the tiers go up in price per month, you receive more benefits as a patron. Also, we have a monthly newsletter as an additional way for you folks to keep up with us and see what we're getting up to and mm -hmm. just one more level of communication. Yeah, and we're hoping the newsletters are going to be sort of longer form. We'll go into detail about 
uh, our plans, what we're doing, maybe different challenges or obstacles we have going on. One thing to note is that with each tier of support, you get the benefits of each tier below it. So uh, all patrons will have access to the videos ad-free and to our Discord, which is like a chat community. It's a place for people to send us messages and, and interact in sort of an instant messenger type of format. The next thing we wanted to talk about is the goals that we have with the Patreon page. I guess to start out, what I'd like to say is that what we're hoping to accomplish with the Patreon page is eventually to build up a stable source of revenue and that revenue theoretically one day could help us spend more time making videos and less time uh, on other types of employment. So as many of you will know from watching our other videos, I currently work full time, sort of a regular schedule and Jillian is just finishing up her undergraduate degree and is looking for uh, full-time work. So like everyone, there are only 24 hours in a day and uh, so far all the filming and editing uh, and video making we've done on this channel happens after work or on the weekends and that's been really great for us. We've been treating making videos like a hobby and it is a blast. I mean most of the things we do in the videos we're doing anyway so we can just turn on the camera and film them. But the real time-consuming part of making videos is editing. Jillian's been doing all the editing. I, I wouldn't have time, certainly, in a regular week to do it. Each of our videos takes about 10 to 15 hours of background work, most of which is uh, Jillian editing. The main function of the Patreon page that we're hoping to accomplish is to allow Jillian, in particular, to derive a stable source of income from her editing hours. And that will mean when you finish up school, you may be able to, instead of doing, instead of looking for full-time work, maybe work part-time and, yeah, get a bit of an income from editing videos. And we'd be really excited about that because it means that we could put out more videos. If at least one of us can know that we can contribute the 15 or 20 or 25 hours a week we need to making videos, then it'll make the whole process a lot easier. The mountaintop goal, Jillian taught me this, the mountaintop goal is like... <laughs> the big goal, or your biggest goal, would be that maybe one day both of us could derive enough of an income from making YouTube videos and from the Patreon page. But that's sort of way down the line. And our channel is relatively small. We don't expect that that would be a possibility anytime soon. But certainly, if we could, it would be fantastic if we could both spend all of our time making videos. I would have to learn how to be a much better editor <laughs> and to be a lot more patient with it. So the reality is we need an income source. That's just how this world works, basically. Um, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately. We need an income to support ourselves and do the things that we want to do. If our Patreon page grows enough, then that means at least I can reduce the amount of time working a traditional job and put more of my time and energy into producing videos, which is what I actually really love to do. Now, the big question that I think a lot of people are gonna have is how will we spend this money? We've already been asked, like, why on earth would we give you money? <laughs> what are you gonna do with it? So, for very obvious reasons, this is just going to become a part of our income. Uh, or at least my income as someone who is searching for work but has not accomplished that work. yet. <laughs> so really it's going to cover basic things like food, fuel, morage, morage, camera gear. A lot of the donations coming from Patreon will go towards hopefully increasing or bettering our camera setup. Yeah. Improving is the word I'm looking for. Yeah. Hopefully they'll, it'll go towards improving our camera setup and potentially sort of back paying us. We've put a fair amount of investment into our camera gear. We bought a brand new camera. We just got a microphone, which is very exciting. Hopefully the audio is better. Than Hopefully the audio is better. <laughs> and GoPro. And so we have invested in a fair amount of camera gear already, which we're really happy about but that was a cost that we are paying off. Yeah, so we wanna make it really clear. The Patreon income isn't gonna be kept in any special pot. It's gonna be used as regular employment income. We don't want you guys to feel that it's all, for example, go going to go to camera gear or all to morage. So with that being said, 
a certain amount of the money will absolutely be directed towards improving the quality of videos on this channel. As the channel grows, the cost associated with making YouTube videos tends to go up. One of the primary forms of those costs is gear. As Jillian was saying, we're sort of running with two cameras right now and that's about it. We sort of have like a budget tripod and we just got a new mic which we're excited about. But going forward, we would really like to get um, some other gear. We need a gimbal probably because I'm very bad at keeping the camera steady. <laughs> a tripod. Uh, yeah, we need a real tripod. You we guys should see what we've got this camera probably. We have, up a, on we have right a little <laughs> like eight inch tripod, which has been a beast so far, <laughs> but not perfect. And it, it probably shows in our videos. And then one day we'd really like to get a drone. I've always wanted to learn how to fly a drone. And yeah, we think that could be sweet. Some of those costs are also ongoing monthly costs that go towards our channel. For example, we pay for a music subscription so we can use music in our videos without getting copyright strikes. Additionally, we pay monthly for a video hosting site so we can actually offer our patrons ad-free videos. Unfortunately, we can't just upload to Patreon, so we have to pay um, an external video hosting site to upload our videos without ads. So there are ongoing costs associated with uploading videos. It's not just a upload and go type situation. And the donations we receive from, from our patrons will go towards helping us pay those off as well. I hope we answered some questions about why we're doing Patreon, how it works, what the money will go towards. We want to make it really clear that this is not an obligation for our viewers. We will continue to post all of our videos onto YouTube so there's no paywall blocking our content from viewers. Additionally, we recognize that monthly subscriptions to channels like ours are not financially feasible for some people and that is totally fine. We won't appreciate your support any less. Just by liking our videos and watching our videos, you're directly supporting us and we really, really appreciate that. And yeah, we hope you enjoyed this first episode of Coffee on Blue Moon. We're not sure how often we'll be posting these, but hopefully it'll just be a place for us to chat about what we're thinking. We started this series because we just want to make it really clear to the audience that if a video is marked Coffee on Blue Moon, it just means it's going to be a video of us sitting here and talking. So if you like watching the vlogs and the different things that we do, you can just avoid these videos. But if you like listening to us ramble on, then, <laughs> these, Enjoy. Will, then these will be here for you to watch. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please feel free to ask us any questions you have about the Patreon page. We're very new to it and we just got it set up a couple weeks ago, so we're still learning how to have everything configured. And we also expect that the page is going to change and grow over time. And we're really excited to start growing a community on our Patreon page. Thanks so much for watching this video. And thanks so much to everyone who is already over there on the Patreon page. Uh, it's been really great to start meeting you guys and getting to know you. Yeah. See you later. We're back. We're <laughs> we back. forgot something. We forgot. <laughs> so you'll find links to the Patreon page in the description box of our videos. And we may also put it in the comments and pin it there. And you can also look it up on Google, patreon.com slash Um, That's all we had to say. So thank you. See you later. <laughs> Bye.